So who loads the dishwasher in your family? Or is it a group effort, as in many American homes? Well, the more input, the more disagreements, it seems, around the proper way to load a dishwasher. Here to set the record straight is WSJ reporter Ellen Byron. Hi, Ellen. Hi. Why is loading the dishwasher one of the most contentious chores in many households? Well, it's this rare task that's actually shared by many family members at the same time, and it plays out in the most central room of the house, the kitchen. And what are some of the arguments over the dishwasher? Like how, how much to rinse beforehand? Yes, yes. Um, should utensils be put handle up, handle down? Should cups and glasses only go on the top, or can they also go to the bottom? Is it okay to put plastic containers on the top or the bottom? And then the actual arrangement of the dishes themselves to make sure it optimizes water flow <laughs> oh my goodness. or not. My head is yeah. spinning. And there are three distinct personality types, it seems, around loading the dishwasher. There are the protectors, the organizers, and the curators, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> so GE and many other big appliance makers actually study very closely all the different methods people have to load a dishwasher. And GE developed these three different personality types to make sure that their racks could accommodate all of them. So the protectors make sure that everything is in the right place, is that right? Yes, yes. Protectors are very precise, um, especially utensils would only be put handle up so that right. you don't touch the eating part when you take it out. Organizers just want to get the job done. Get it in there, possible. get it clean. And yeah. then curators are the most particular, they're very elaborate about making sure all the plates of the same type are next to each other. Oh my goodness. Same with glasses. And so lifestyle guru Martha Stewart has some very specific advice on the subject. She has a lot of don'ts as yes. things that she will never put in the dishwasher. She says sticking to the don'ts is more important than the do's. She never puts things like knives in a dishwasher, um, china, uh, crystal, gold-plated dishes and flatware, um, pewter, cast iron pans because she's afraid that the seasoning will um, be uh, harmed. Um, Nonstick pans, never put those wow. in. Well, I guess it helps if you have a staff to do your, your hand washing if you have that much. But yes, I can see why some of that stuff shouldn't go in. So dishwashers have definitely changed a lot since we're children. Have manufacturers set out recommendations for their dishwasher? Yes, they have. And you know, they're actually in a bind because they know that a lot of consumers load the dishwasher they, the same way they did as children or young adults, but meanwhile, the technology inside these appliances have evolved and they've become quite specialized. But Whirlpool told me that more than 70% of users still just hit the normal cycle every time. They don't get it. So do the manufacturers then say, this is how you should load the dishwasher, leave the chunks of food on? Do they give advice like that? Well, they are specific about not pre-rinsing. Both the appliance makers and the detergent makers like Cascade, which is made by Procter & Gamble, say leave food on on the plates because both the machine sensors and enzymes inside the soap want to target food particles. Good if to know. You don't no need to tell me twice. Yeah. I'll not rinse. I'll just stick it right in. Ellen Byron, thank you so much for all that great advice.